So I'm basing this on past IB paper answers. Three stages of drug development. First is research. Maybe there's some slime or some mold that might tip you off to some active compounds. Maybe plants, maybe that white fungus there. Maybe you're searching in the rainforest or alternative medicines. Perhaps a bug will give you an idea. And these contain drugs that might be active uh, in the human body. Oh dear. Bad luck, Dr. Atkinson. After research, we have development. That's where you try and purify the drug and work out how it works, work out the biomedical pathways. If the drug is acidic, maybe you want to make it into a salt to take away some of that corrosive power. Maybe you want to make it into an ester. If it's a carboxylic acid or an alcohol, that will change its properties. Other things you may end up doing is uh, adding methyl or ethyl groups on, perhaps swapping out one halogen for another, tweaking the molecule to, to get it to be maximally effective as a drug or a medicine. That was stage two. Stage three is testing. Well, initial testing is done on animals. I'm gonna jump into my little pig pen and take this rather large syringe and test it on animals. Now you'll probably wanna work out the LD50, the lethal dose that kills 50%, and the ED50, which is the effective dose on 50%, or poor little piggies. And with that, you can work out the therapeutic window. You need to know that, that was in a previous video. So once you've done animal testing, you wanna move on to human testing. Now, these are normally in three phases. The IB have never asked you to explain what they are. But what they are interested in is when you do human testing, Looks like these guys need to be cured from the zombie virus again. With human testing, you want to use a placebo and the real drug. You want to see if the real drug is better than a placebo. So I'm going to put a placebo on that half. That is an inert substance that falls the body into curing itself. The IB will accept that. And I'll put the real drug down to those zombies there. Smash it. So from here... Let's just run down the steps. Oh, those angels look pretty scary. Oh, it seems to work, so my drug has passed the testing. Now, obviously, in real life, it's a lot more complicated than this, but this is enough to get you through the IV. Research, development, and testing. They also want you to know about thalidomide, which is a drug that wasn't uh, developed or tested thoroughly, and it gave birth defects to women. Uh, who were experiencing morning sickness. That comes up a little bit later in the course as well. Oh, they're still following me. 